Hi Anderson Astronauts. Today is Monday, March 30th and today had some really bad news. I'm going to share with you the bad news first and then we're going to have some fun. So today our governor of Arizona, Mr. Doug Ducey, made a decision that we need to close the schools for the rest of the year. This is really hard for me because some of you know that this was to be my last year. And this means that you won't come back to Anderson Elementary this year, but you will come back in July when we start the next school year. I am here to help you and to talk with you about this. If you need to call me, most of your parents have my phone number. I will share my phone number in the email with your parents if you need to call me. En español, el gobernador Mr. Ducey decidió que no tendremos clases para el resto del año escolar. Este significa que no tendremos clases hasta julio y es muy difícil para mí porque este año estaría mi último año de enseñanza. Estoy aquí para hablar con ustedes y voy a poner mi número de teléfono en el texto del email para que me llamen si necesitan hablar acerca de eso. Ahora para las cosas más divertidas. Now for the fun stuff. We, some of you may have noticed that behind me there was a pair of goggles. So I'm going to put these on just to be silly. Goggles are something you wear to keep the chlorine out of your eyes when you swim. And I miss swimming, so I just thought I'd put on everything as if I'm going swimming. These are called fins. And this is called a kickboard. And basically, when we swim, we can kick with our fins, using our kickboard, and putting our head in the water. I hope someday you get a chance to try it. Now, remember, always look behind me for the next object. It will give you a clue as to what we will talk about the next day or tomorrow. <laughs> okay, here we go with our story. Yesterday was a special day because it was my oldest son's birthday. Imagine having a birthday when you really can't go see any friends. I'm sure some of you are having birthdays right now, so please message me if it is your birthday because I want to wish you a happy birthday. This birthday book is called The Secret Message, whoops, The Secret Birthday Message by Eric Carl. The Secret Birthday Message by Eric Carl. On the night before Tim's birthday, he found a strange envelope under his pillow. He sat up straight in his bed and opened the letter. Inside was a secret message, and this is what it said. When the hmm comes up, Look for the biggest hmm. Below it, you'll see a hmm. Behind that is the hmm. Go in. Look up to find a hmm. Crawl through. Go down hmm. Walk straight ahead to a hmm. Open it. You will see a hmm. Climb up and through. That's where you'll find your birthday gift. Happy birthday! So here is the secret message decoded. When the moon comes
comes up. Look for the biggest star. Below it, you'll find a rock. Look up to find a round opening. Crawl through. Go down the stairs. Walk straight ahead to the door. Open it. You will see an opening. Climb up and through. Can you guess what his birthday gift is? That's where you'll find your birthday gift. Now, can you find your way back? See if you remember all of the steps. That's his birthday gift. Go back through the opening, down the steps, back through the door, up the steps, through the cave, look for the biggest rock, and up to the stars, and wait for the moon to come up. I love this book because it gives me an opportunity to give you your next challenge. Get a piece of paper and a pencil and write a secret message with clues on it for one of your brothers or sisters or a parent or someone in your house. If there's no one in your house to read it, then write it to me. For example, you might say, wait for the to come up. Go to the door. Look outside under the nearest Find a, that's a rock. Bring it to me. And that will be a secret gift or a special gift you can give to someone in your family. Until tomorrow, boys and girls, I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, Camila. Thank you, Michael, all for sending me messages. Have a great evening.